Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a new Girl World Gossip video. So, as most of you know by now, I am extremely nosy, and oftentimes find myself looking for drama that isn't mine and has not a darn thing to do with me. And through doing these videos, I have found that some of you are just as nosy as I am, so today, let's nose around Twitter and see what we find. These videos are for fun, we aren't team anyone over here, we are team nosy. So let's catch you up really fast. Sam and Yabba started warning people basically not to use their content because they would take action. And then they started taking action. These are the people that I know of that they have struck. The Gaining Ground, Angry Pistachio, Yo Mama. <music> Hillbilly Belinda. And it's the people that they fight with all the time. And they kept their word. They struck the creators and Gigi shows proof. The other creators I named have shown proof as well, but the Gaining Ground talks about it the most. The whole thing confuses me. I'm not a fan of striking because I think it's YouTube. I think if you upload, it's fair game, right? Like anybody could talk about it. Anybody can have an opinion. But what's odd to me <laughs> is how like there was even a court case going on. All this stuff with Gaining Ground and he just doesn't stop poking. I'm not saying it was right that they struck him. I'm just saying the only time he took a break is when he missed his court case the other day. Him and Hussey both missed it. I saw people saying he was too embarrassed to like show his face after missing something so big that he talked up for so long. But, but he apologized for the lack of updates. And how did he word it? Oh, he apologized because Girl World's very own mama June and Sugar Bear hit him with a bunch of bogus copyright strikes. He says because weak. Anyways, the Gaining Ground says the four copyright strikes from the YouTube Underground and Sam came in on May 9th, May 17th, May 18th, and May 19th. Yaba also issued multiple privacy complaints, which resulted in episode two coming down. Oh no. He shows proof of the email. It says your YouTube account will be disabled in seven days. The email says some of your videos have been taken down. Your video has been taken down from YouTube. Your YouTube account will be disabled in seven days. And it shows multiple privacy complaints. He also shares a screenshot that shows Angry Pistachio's content was removed. And it says the removal request was issued by the YouTube Underground. It looks like Pistachio had an upcoming stream. And Mr. Ground says, who knew someone so big and loud could be so weak? Let's all join hands and pray for Yabba and her thin skin. Okay, I see Angry Pistachio is currently live and currently reacting to the YouTube underground, even though there's striking going on. Coming out, it felt like thick sludge or something, and it smelled like hickory barbecue. A few drops were coming out when she was trying to go pee, and then it felt like thick sludge. Okay, I want to be nosy for a minute and check out just the beginning of Angry Pistachio's stream and see what she has to say. I've never watched her. Yo, you know what's f***ed up? Um, it's really f***ed up now, nowadays, that I can never be sure when something strange or, uh, when something strange or, I don't even know what other word to use happens. It's very hard not to always automatically assume that it has something to do with uh, the nefarious people online. And I know that that's not a, f it's not always a fair assumption to make, um, but it's hard. Hard when something funny or fickle or weird occurs. Uh, it's really hard not to assume that it has something to do with somebody from one of these camps, if not directly themselves. Like, yikes. So, <laughs> we're gonna react to Yaba anyway. That's crazy. When I had the infection at the beginning, it Okay, so that was my first time watching her, but I've seen a lot on Twitter. I've seen clips floating around. And um, in this clip right here, she says, like, she knows what's going on, but she's gonna cover Yaba anyways. And I just feel like in Girl World, there's a whole lot of poking, fanning the flames, and people not liking the end results. I'm not saying it's okay for Yab and Sam to strike people, but I'm seeing somebody say, I don't care, I'm doing it anyways. And then she cries on Twitter and YouTube about it. I've seen it. I have. So Pistachio just seems like she isn't really having the best day because her content's being reported elsewhere. And I guess according to Pistachio, this must be Yaba's fault too. I do see that Twitter put content warnings on her posts. 
Pistachio says, reporting any and all accounts that dare to criticize her fat hippo highness like crazy because hashtag weak, hashtag cult. She's really not happy about it. She says, oh, they're trying to shut me up from every angle now, huh? And Twitter said we put a warning message on these posts because they might have sensitive content. I don't think there's any way to prove that that was Yaba and Sam, but I'm looking through Angry Pistachio's Twitter and there's a lot of Rakita content. So, I mean, it could have been any of his followers, anybody who's a fan of him. It could have been anyone that simply stumbled across her account and found it to be offensive. So I was going through her Twitter and mainly her two topics right now are Rakita Law and Yaba and Sam. And she's also been talking about a pastor. I think it's safe to say anybody could have reported those tweets. I came across this picture of Shani for Christ and I wish I could go back in time. How about you? I was scrolling through Twitter and I found this. Something Neg said to somebody named Witty. It says, I'm glad your husbands are dead. Too bad your kid hasn't followed I suit. Mean, I don't agree with Negs on like anything that I've heard. Anything at all. But I've always agreed that people shouldn't come for his child. So it's odd to me when he speaks out about it so much that people came for his son that he would wish death on somebody else's as a parent. Friendly reminder, and I can't even believe I have to say this, but this goes to a lot of people. Keep the children out of adult drama. I don't know who Witty is. I don't know what was done to him or what was said to him regarding that situation. I only saw Negs's response. But in general, it's not cool to wish that upon kids. It's not cool to even bring kids up in adult YouTube creator drama. Apparently, Natter did a live stream where he threatened to strike Mr. Snowflake and the channels that he shouted out. Mo Translate shared this. Mo said, sorry to even bring him up. I don't want to talk about him so he will go away. But he's on a live stream. He called it Mr. Snowflake, be ready. He's threatening to strike Mr. Snowflake and the channels he shouted out. He's pissed off. He gives me the creeps when he's angry. I won't be sharing the clip because I'm not giving him a reason to come for me. But to be honest, I couldn't understand what he was saying anyway. When he talks, he just gets so angry and animated and really excited about whoever he might be threatening. So it's hard to follow along for me. Joanna said, I have a feeling Mr. Snowflake will know exactly how to handle him. Katie asked, is he still demonetized? And Mo said, he is demonetized. Kim said, Mr. Snowflake didn't play clips from his channel and only referred to him as Dom. So honestly, don't know what basis the strike would be for. Bunny Angel said, why is he still allowed a channel is a mystery to me. He threatens people all the time. Okay, Girl World Gardens tweet just about made me spit out my Coke Zero. Succulent said, everybody knew this was going to irritate Natterall. It is expected. Hopefully Mr. Snowflake paid attention when it was pointed out. I mean, I'm sure he paid attention. He didn't have to deal with being threatened or worried about possibly losing his channel because he uploaded and talked about topics that Nader and Foodie both put online. I'm not saying Succulent was implying that. I'm just saying I'm sure he paid attention. I'm sure he was warned, but it, he still shouldn't have to worry about it. On a side note, Yo Mama wants FFG to apologize for being one day off. In case you weren't aware, we talked about it in a video yesterday. Around the anniversary of the Uvalde shooting, Yo Mama thought it was a great idea to reenact kind of like the pumped up kicks thing that Foodie Beauty did. He danced to a remixed version of it, and FFG called him out for doing that on the anniversary. He was so upset, and he wants her to apologize for being one day off, but he won't apologize to all those he offended. I'd rather hear a public apology from Yo Mama for mocking a tragedy than from FFG being one day off. All right, you guys, that's pretty much the girl world gossip for right now. On a side note, I did hear that Kay Bella went to the ER and she is out now. She is resting and recovering. Whatever you may think about her, I am sending her positive vibes and wishing her a speedy recovery. If I hear of anything else, you guys will be the first to know about it. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Season three is gonna be lit. Season three is gonna be- uh, I've started on episode four already because from the looks of it, uh, 
I need to finish the series before she dies. Go!